Alright everyone, this is Don't Starve Together, featuring update, arts and crafts. So we got mine for fossils, discover ancient bones deep in the caves. Then we got the moon dial, this fountain reflects the phases of the moon. Then we got build your own sculptures. Mine existing sculptures for their secrets and take home their sketches. Then chest pieces. The game starts on the night of the new moon. Okay, and that's how you get the fossils. You get them from the stagamites. The little sharp looking rocks in the cave. So their only use is to be placed on the ground to make an old skeleton. And you just make it like this. You put one on the ground and then you just keep repairing it with the other bones. And it takes eight per skeleton. It's pretty much kind of like walls. There's two skeletons you can make. There's the horned and then there's the saber tooth one. And it's randomly set. So uh, if you keep getting one, you can just keep hammering it down. And you don't lose any pieces. If you hammer it down, you get all your pieces back. You just keep doing it until you get the, one, the other one or whichever one you prefer. All right, and that's it for the fossils. Hopefully they had more designs in, so you could keep making different ones. That'd be pretty cool. And maybe they'll add something later where it comes alive on a full moon or um, a new moon. Something cool like that. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to make the moon dial. You, it's under the magic tab. It's the very last one. So you're going to need a blue moon lens, two moon rock, and two ice. And then you can make it. Let me put it down here. It shows the moon phases. The more filled up it is, the closer it is to the full moon. If the moon dial is flooded, that means there's a full moon tonight. You can see the moon's reflected in the water of the structure. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty much how you see it. And also, during a new moon, the bowl will be empty. Okay, and I'll show you guys... Just a quick little montage of the symbols in the bowl, real quick. The moon symbols. Alright, this is it on a full moon. It's overflowing. The moon is full, so that means tonight's going to be a full moon. Also, kind of like that little quick skip day thing I was showing. Each phase of the moon on the uh, moon dial. You can see the pumpkin in the background, if you noticed. They also added this update. The faces change. Like I got one down here. Oh, his face is actually the same. Didn't I have one over here? All, right. All their faces are the same right now, but their faces changed too. Thought that was kind of a cool update. Say full moon! I know we got nothing going on right now for the full moon, but I, I was hoping these would do something on a full moon. See, it says it looks as though it might roam the earth at, or roam the earth any moment. But, I was like, damn, yeah, that means a full moon. But nah, it doesn't seem to do anything. See, and that's it for the moon dial. Alright, now I'm going to show you the potter's wheel. Followed by the sculpture sketches and the chess pieces. Alright, to make this you're going to need two cut stone, two boards, four twigs. Where should we put this? Um, uh, let's put it right here. Now you get the sculpt thing. Right now I can only build two things. 
So pretty much with the potter's wheel, you're able to, it lets you make eight different sculptures. It requires marble or cut stone to be placed on it. See, there we go. And then I can make these two things right now. Oh, shit. I'll just place it over here for now. Little feast. See, if they do it this way, they use they use marble to come out white. If they use stone, it comes out kind of like gray. So it's like whatever color you prefer. All right, now I'll show you how to get more recipes. All right, so when you find these marble things, you just smash them. See, they drop little recipes, little sketches. I got two of the same ones. There's another recipe. I don't know if it's possible to make them all in one world, or you gotta be lucky. I mean, there's eight, and there's, I guess there's is plenty of places like that. I don't remember I seen more of those, but, um, I'm sure it is, be, you're able to make them all. Alrighty. When you get back, you just drag them onto the potter's wheel. Then it gets added to the crafting tab. See, now I know how to make the kingly figure. Yeah, it's a double. And that's a double. And I can make the queenly figure. Ooh, this one looks cool. I need my B-flow to help me move this. They're like pretty much little chess figure looking things. So you got all these little chess pieces and little decorations. And you can just monkey around with them and decorate your base with them if you want. Now I'll show you where true terror lies. see the rook, the knight, and the bishop. And then they all turn into the shadow form. I don't know if these ones are anything. No, this is break. These are the three new shadow guys. And how long it waits? Oh, he's running. There we go. Whoa. So when you kill any of them, so if I kill the knight, it will level up the other two. And then if you kill the other one, it will level up the one, the last one. So one of them would become like a super sane, strong some bitch. Ah oh, shit, he's in his final form now. Fuck. Fucker hurts.
I need to make friends with this guy. He got me kill Toadstool. Oh my god, that was hard. Alright, so he drops a Dark Sword, a bunch of Nightmare Fuel, and Shadow Atrium. Blackest Heart, Darkest Omens. Okay guys, the last thing I want to show you guys is the mushroom planter. You can now plant your own mushrooms. And you go under the food tab, mushroom planter. So you're going to need 8 rot, 5 manure, and 1 living log to make one. Uh, I'm going to go make some up here. Alright, so I quickly realized I didn't have any mushrooms. But then you take your mushroom and just put it on there. Okay, guys, so I waited a few days for these to get a little bigger. And I wanted to show you picking them. So once you pick them... So that one had four, I think? Yep. So these ones have four right now. When I picked that one, only gave me two, which is still better. See, look how the mushrooms you can just get from... Not too much resources to do this. And then, once you want to replant, like, look, it won't let you. Oh, let me do that one. Wow, it would. It's like stupid. Let's me do all those. Alright, well, let me pick them early. Maybe they'll screw it, screw it up a little. There we go. So you can only plant mushrooms a few times. And then eventually it won't let you. Then you just gotta add a log to it, and then bam, you could plant there again. So I, I like this. I always thought it would be cool to grow other foods, and mushrooms definitely cool. So that's it for this update, guys. If you like this video, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. So I think the scarecrow's pretty good. I just wish it got rid of the damn turkeys. Those things pissed me off. Always stealing my berries. Have to chase him down. That'd be that'd be really cool if they did that. Hopefully, I'll make another scarecrow, like a, a mean one. He won't stand for his berries getting stolen.